Do you want to earn gems fast in Fishing Simulator? Well, you have clicked on the right video. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is Maja Nick here, and today we're actually starting out in my aquarium. Um, quite literally in the aquarium. Hold on, let me get out of here real quick. There we go. Okay, that's better. But for today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a lot of gems fast because they are pretty important in this game and you don't want to skip out on farming them. So I will be showing you three methods in this video and I'm going to be ranking them from worst to best. Coming in with the first method of getting gems very fast is going to be the hourly quest inside of Reagan's Tavern. Reagan's Tavern is located literally right where you spawn at Port Jackson. You can even go through this side door here or you can go through the main entrance door right here but it doesn't matter. You're going to end up in the same place no matter what. And you're going to want to come over to here and this is Reagan and you're going to talk to him and you're going to see that he has hourly quests. So they're okay. They're honestly not that great. There's only a few of them that I recommend you guys going for. The first one is called Captain Ahab. Ahab <laughs> sends his regards and for that quest it gives 60 gems and all you have to do is just provide him a Moby Tooth. So if you guys are like me and you farm up Moby a lot in this game, you're going to run into quite a few Moby teeth that you should hold on to. You can see in my inventory that I have quite a bit of them and I actually sold I think about 50 of them not too long ago because they were just taking up so much space that I didn't really need that many and I'm probably gonna have to sell a bunch more. So they're not too hard to get. They are one of the more rare drops from Moby but if you're farming him consistently you're going to get them. And the second and final quest that I recommend doing for gems which yes there's only two that I recommend is the Rainbow Warrior and that one is to collect three rainbow parrotfish and that gives you 35 gems. For all the other quests I don't think they're really worth doing because you have to collect so many different fish like there's one for 80 napoleon fish and it only gives you 25 gems like that's ridiculous. But something like parrotfish or moby's teeth you can farm them up pretty easily and you could just stockpile on them and have them waiting in your inventory for when Reagan has them in his hourly quests. So when you're playing the game just check his quests every hour because those two might show up and you're going to want to take advantage of them. And just for clarification, rainbow parrotfish is earned in the ocean, but it has to be clear skies. It can't be any other weather type. And that is the slowest and worst gem farming method in this game because you might get decent quests every hour or so, and it's not even guaranteed. Most of the quests that you're going to get are pretty garbage, and I don't recommend you guys spending your time on it because instead you can be spending your time on these other things that I'm about to show you. The second best method in this game is sunken ships. You guys have probably noticed when you're playing that these little icons around the map will appear randomly and if you take a look at the chat in the top left corner you're also going to notice that it announces when there is a sunken ship so you're able to go to these locations where the sunken ships are and you're able to take the loot that comes from them and obviously depending on the rarity whether it's uncommon epic or mythic which are the three types you have a chance of getting a higher amount of gems so uncommon ships they have a chance of giving 10 to 20 gems epic ships have a chance of giving 10 to 25 gems while mythic ships have a chance of giving 25 to 50 gems. Whenever you see these spawn in, you're going to want to go for them because this is a small time investment and over time doing these over and over, they're going to add up and you're going to be getting quite a bit of gems. And if you're having a hard time finding these sunken ships, because when you go underwater, it is quite dark, you're going to want to get this goggles game pass. It does cost 299 Robux, which is kind of a lot for just a simple game pass. But if you're able to get it, go for it because it'll make finding sunken ships literally way easier. But if you can't get it i understand that's completely fine but it is a quality of life game pass that will help you out and now for the final and best method to getting gems really fast i'm gonna have to go to a public server to show you guys so let me head over there right now all right so i'm in a public server and the reason why i brought you guys here is because for this last method you need to be in a public server and that's finding lost treasure lost treasure in this game is honestly so so good it is by far the best method for getting gems quick and if you guys don't know what that is they are chests that will randomly spawn around the map and when you collect them it gives you 25 gems each time and they spawn pretty frequently you're gonna see in the chat over and over when you're playing oh a chest has been lost go find it for its loot or whatever it says and as long as you get there fast enough you're gonna be able to make so much gems so fast and this gets even better when you start server hopping trying to find servers where people aren't really collecting the chests, and that's when you come in to just swoop up and take all those gems for free in my experience i I've been able to farm up about a thousand gems from server hopping in just one hour, which is honestly really fast. But keep in mind, I have a boat like this 
this is the penguin boat and it is literally the fastest boat in the game and for getting to stuff like sunken ships or lost treasure chests fast you're gonna want to have a fast boat and actually a chest just spawned in pharaoh's dunes so i'm gonna head over there now but i'm gonna be using the balloon if you guys don't have a really fast boat using this balloon will help you out a lot so i'm just gonna fast travel over to pharaoh's dunes and then i'm gonna check on my map i could see that it's in this corner over here behind the pyramid so i'm just gonna go over there and it looks like no one else right now is trying to go for it which is great sometimes i'm in a chase with people or i guess a rush to who can get it first and here we go this is what the chest looks like i'm gonna open it up and boom 25 gems for what just coming over here it took less than a minute and you could just keep doing this over and over so just some boats that i'm going to recommend you guys to go for if you're hunting for lost treasure chests or sunken ships the first recommendation would be the airboat the airboat is such a solid beginner boat it costs 700 000, which is kind of expensive when you're brand new to the game but trust me you'll farm up this money really fast its health is not so great but its speed is where it really shines if you look down here its max speed is 140 40 miles per hour i'm assuming that's miles per hour i don't really know what they go based off of on this game but 140 is a very solid speed for this cost so i definitely recommend going for that but for those of you that are struggling to get money i recommend going for speedboat 2 this is very easy to get when you're new to the game it literally costs 23,000 gold and its max speed goes up to 90 and it almost has the same amount of health as the airboat so this is very very good early on and you should prioritize getting this boat if you want to get gems for fast now if you're a bit more experienced in the game maybe going for something like a lamb boat would be great because this goes 190 miles per hour or if you're a really pro player going for the penguin boat the blaha boat or just anything that has a good speed preferably 200 miles per hour or higher and that's pretty much it for this guide getting gems in this game is not hard at all it just requires some dedication you need to farm up for a decent boat that can go pretty fast you need to be a high enough level to travel to all of these islands because some of them spawn on in the later islands like pharaoh's dunes and you need to be very very quick and checking the chat constantly to identify when these things spawn and go for them right away and in the meantime you could be farming up moby and fishing for rainbow parrotfish so you can stockpile for those hourly quests that i was talking about earlier but combine all of these three methods and you will find great success i promise you guys it's just going to take some effort and time but i hope this helped you guys out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one